yeah the fault was the main fault was that faulty pot which probably shorted the 8 volt out um, the minus 8 volts let me double check what the 8 volt setting is let me set up the new one and come back well as expected the minus 8 minus 7.9 uh, plus 5 and we had the minus 15 was minus 22 that's now pretty good that meter isn't calibrated so there's a bit of air on it so probably better this way um, no that's plus 50 um, that's plus 15 that's good yeah that's the 50 volt unregulated that's from the rectifier so that's all good that's supposed to be 110 here that's 96 that's not 110 that's 96 so we need to check what's going on with 110 there's probably a lot of ripple on it uh, maybe another fault somewhere that's not right yeah so that's the only voltage which isn't clean but again it's quite possible that there's a lot of ripple on it let me hook up a, a probe with the other scope and see what comes out of that so that's 50 volt per division so that's one on a bit and that's how it looks like so we probably have a dead cap there um, that's not very nice if it's visible on camera increase this a little bit that's what we're getting so 50, 100, 100 and a bit with a massive ripple on it so the ripple is at least 50 volts so I think we have a dead cap a dead cap somewhere I need to check what the 110 is supposed to look like but that's certainly not right so it's only that 110 volts which looks really ugly so we had plus 5 minus 8 plus 15 minus 15 uh, yeah so the 110 volts DC is crap there is a and that's probably the 50 Hertz we can see here welcome back to the Tektronix 475 uh, today we're looking into our noise issue and I already get an idea I've got an idea here uh, hopefully that's visible um, this is 50 volts unregulated and we have a lot of ripple the 50 volts is fine but this is 65 volts with a lot of ripple so I think this C1414 is faulty because in circuit it tests really bad so we'll take it out and have, have a closer look how it looks like <coughs> it's this one here one of these I think this one 1412 1414 this one here has no at least with it with a meter with a normal ohm meter it has no capacity so we'll take it out and have a look luckily we didn't put everything back on the board because to get there it's probably better take the board out again well it's supposed to be 350 microfarads and we're measuring 23 microfarads on ESR of 17 ohms so this thing is short um, yeah it's 350 75 volts I'm pretty sure we're gonna find something it's C1412 which I was suspecting that is faulty and there's some residue on this one as well I don't know if it comes from this one but this one has vented it looks like hard to tell but maybe this has vented because this is still reading good here yeah. um, it's been unsoldered once look at that someone soldered on this end here so we probably take that out as well and give it a quick check I just don't like the idea I, let's try it in circuit first well, I think that's fine. It's reading thousand microfarads. I 
and an ESRR of 2.2 ohms, so that's probably fine. Uh, so it's the one I was actually suspecting. So that's the other one in circuit. Looks alright to me. So, and what you do if you don't have a 350 microfarad 75 volt DC, you take two thousand microfarad 50 volt DC in series, that's 100 volts, put some equalization resistor on top of it, and yeah, you technically make one. The resistors are important to make the voltage distribution over the uh, capacitors good. Um, you shouldn't go right to the edge of the rating. Yeah, so that's it. So we, we just solder them together, put a piece of heat shrink on top of that, and then each of these two wires here are going into the other side, and that's it. Obviously it needs to be insulated. Make sure it's not touching anything. You probably put a bit of cable tie around. But yeah, I don't have... I got... yeah, I got 450 volt capacitors. But they are a bit chunky. Might they're not bigger than this one here. But apparently they're a waste of money because you don't want... you don't need a 450 volt capacitor. And we should have the space, but obviously... So let's see if that if we can make that fit, yeah. So the idea is actually getting it into these two holes here. And yeah, that's it. Let me finish that and uh, we'll come back when it's done. Okay, we're done. It can't go anywhere. They're both together. This is bent up. It's not gonna bend. So, uh, an interesting one on this one. This is the 50 volt unregulated, but this is 110, so this is negative. This end down there. Uh, the wire. And some light. This is the negative end because this is this one, and this is the plus 110. So let's think about it. It's gonna be the other way around. Uh, so plus is here, negative is here on the capacitor. Again, this thing. Don't know how old it is. Uh, just trying to figure out how old it is. 1978, week 17. I think so. Uh, yeah, well, 42 years old. Allowed to die. Okay, let's put it back together, at least as far as we had it before. Fire it up and see what happens. So now comes the moment of truth. We're off. We're off. Uh, nothing laying around here. Make sure there's nothing underneath. Scope is running. We are at. 10, so we have 50 volts per division, power and power, and as we can see, we can see nothing, we still have a little bit of, but our, our ripple is gone, yeah, our 110 volt ripple is gone, there's a little bit left. We're at 10 millivolts, so that's 100 millivolts per division, which is fine. So, this ripple has gone, which is good. We still have issues with other stuff. Uh, we got some... We got some issues here on channel 1. It does work. I don't know if it's visible. So, where near this work? Let's try channel 2. And that's working as well. So, but we still have noise. At least our ripple is gone now. Uh, let's go to the 50 volts. 
and there is no rip leader, as you can see here. So. At least that's good. So let's solder the trigger resistors. We got all the screws in already. Let's solder the trigger resistors and have a look at the other side. Maybe there's a screw missing or some voltage is noisy or... I know the A amplifier is still out. We may have another voltage which is a bit too, too much ripple. That's it from today. Got enough. We'll cover the rest of it in a, a separate video. Um, it's too much for a single video anyway. At least we have we reached our milestone. We got it working. That's the major thing. So it's worth looking into it. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.